guys so we are in the pink city jaipur and we finally checked into the room and we are staying at radisson city center to give you a brief of our itinerary so right now we are starving and we are very hungry so we are headed out to a cafe called as tapri central uh, which is in c scheme we are going to be taking an uh, auto because we don't really want to do the usual cab and also we want to experience the city as it is come here to have the most amazing fruit cream ever like really really nice fruit cream and sabudana vada and it's called palhar so we are here at babu bazaar and nehru bazaar and we are here for some shopping this is the famous market of jaipur soon after it's day 2 in jaipur so yesterday was super busy but super super fun and um, honestly there was absolutely no time between all the rush and chaos to log vlog anything so i can give you a quick update we headed out to a mall called as world trade park in jaipur it's one of the most amazing malls here and i mean we had gone thinking we wanted to buy a couple of things but we ended up just spending so much of time and money over there that i can't even wrap my head around how the day went yesterday so we actually i mean spent pretty much all our time at the mall and um, amidst all the shopping and everything there really wasn't time to vlog anything uh, after that for dinner we headed out to this hotel called as rambagh palace they have really really amazing restaurants within the hotel property it's by the taj group of hotels and uh, we um, had a reservation for dinner at a restaurant called as swarn mahal um, it's an exquisite and just an amazing 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 restaurant the ambience will just leave you stunned and i mean you know we had gone with certain expectations based on the photographs and the internet reviews and everything but i mean it kind of blew us away still blew us away and um, the food is just top notch and the staff is really really courteous so if you're someone who likes fancy restaurants fancy food uh, and you're in jaipur you should definitely definitely try out you know the restaurants of rambagh palace an update for today is that um, now that we're done with shopping and with uh, the agenda that we had in uh, mind for jaipur as such we are going to go a little more local little more touristy we will take you along with us for today so that's a yay the plan for today and little update that i'll give you is that there are mainly three forts in jaipur jaigarh the nargarh fort and the amer fort so of these three major forts we are headed out to two of them we are first going to go to nargarh hopefully and then to amer
शीश महल एंड वैक्स म्यूजियम एंड वैक्स म्यूजियम कुछ जबरदस्त है शीश महल में तो पूरे ग्लास की फ्लोरिंग वोरिंग है एंड वैक्स म्यूजियम में पता नहीं सेट्स हैं बढ़िया से ऐसे कल्पना चावला के लोग पूरे रॉकेट ही बना रहे हैं वो लाइफ होती तो भाग जाती है ठीक है चलो वी विल वी आर गोइंग टू शीश महल एंड वैक्स म्यूजियम वी विल शेयर आर एक्सपीरियंस वंस वी आर आउट अनफॉर्चुनेटली फोटोज आर नॉट अलाउड इनसाइड सो ओके हाय गाइस वी हैव टिकट्स लेट्स गो So Bye. as soon as we enter Nargar, you on the left hand side there is a um, a place called as Shish Mahal and Royal Darbar. And so, Hall of Fame, Hall of Icons. Ha, Hall of Icons. So that basically has uh, two wax museums and one Shish Mahal. The entry ticket for it is 500 INRs. You can also um, get your own private cameraman. Uh, he does not charge anything extra for coming along with you. So in the for any sort of photography from a mobile or a professional camera is strictly prohibited in the wax museum and uh, the shish mahal so you can request for a camera person to accompany you and he will do that for free and click photographs of you um, later on which um, you can actually pay for each photograph and get a soft copy of their photograph that the camera man takes for you you are not allowed to take any sort of photographs and um, so we took a camera man with us and he clicked around 23 photos for us which costed us around how much 300 So for 20 photos we paid around 300 rupees um, approximately 15 rupees each for each photograph and uh, uh, in addition to the two wax museums there is also a shish mahal so the speciality about the shish mahal is that the entire mahal is made of glass including the floor which is one of its kind We are at the Amer Fort in Jaipur, and uh, it's a really big fort. And honestly, after going to Nargar, I am exhausted. Arpan is with the guide, trying to process everything. But honestly, I'm too tired, and I've been here so many times. So I'm just doing me. Uh, also, if you are visiting Amir, I really recommend taking a guide because otherwise it'll be too difficult for you to kind of understand the history and the importance of the huge fort. So, hi guys, we are done with lunch. As you can see. We had lunch at this place for 11:53 AD. It is located on the first floor of the Amir Fort. It's a Mahalish traditional kind of a restaurant. The vibe is pretty amazing. The food is also really nice. The ambience is nice. So we had a hearty lunch and uh, we had a good time. We took a lot of photographs. Arpan, how was lunch? Greatest. What's that? What did we order? We actually we were so full from. All the meals we've been having, so we wanted to have something light and uh, delicious at the same time. But in Rajasthan food is delicious anyway. It was a little spicy, I mean, everywhere. Yeah, so Rajasthani food is like normally spicy, but if you tell them, they will make it non-spicy for you. So we actually went for dal, rice, and naan. I think typical Indian food. We haven't really gone fast food yet. We are headed to Birla Mandir, and it's like a 15 minutes walk from the parking. And I am dead tired. The influencer is not. <laughs> influencer. And the influencer didn't want to visit this pilgrimage. I wanted to visit. Hello. Because influence नहीं कर पाएंगी यहाँ पे किसी को. मैं खुद influence होने जा रही हूँ.
exploring the forts of Jaipur and seeking some tranquility at the Birla Mandir, we were really hungry and decided to head out to Fairmont Jaipur. Gleaming under the watchful eyes of the Aravli Hills, away from the hustle and clamor of Jaipur city, glittering with history and culture of Rajasthan, Fairmont Jaipur is a luxurious living palace that gracefully combines the glories of the past with modern day comforts. It's day four in Jaipur for us. We decided to use one day in traveling to Ajmer and Pushkar. So yesterday uh, we headed out to Ajmer early in the morning. We left as early as around seven. And um, as you had seen, we stopped for breakfast on our way. And we reached the Ajmer Sharif Dargah at around 10, 10.30ish. From there, actually, um, you know, it's always, always recommended that you go with known people or with no, the known khadins as they say. Of course, I mean, you know, being at a religious place, we did not want to spend time blogging, recording, taking videos because that is not the purpose. And um, after the Darga, we headed out to a place called Pushkar, which is around 15 to 20 kilometers from Ajmer. So Pushkar is a very famous um, destination, especially amongst the foreigners who, you know, come looking for some peace, some serenity, some tranquility. So they come looking for peace and um, Pushkar is the right place for it. Uh, um, it's really known for its Pushkar fair in which, you know, we have exotic animals that they display and um, that people can come have a look at. So it's called the Pushkar Fair. Um, there also is a very famous safari in the sand dunes. So there are three ways to do the safari. Either you can go for a private jeep, you can go for a camel car. And if you're two people, you can go on a camel, like you can sit on the camel. And there are th two possibilities. So doing the safari was one of the things. And the second very, very important thing in Pushkar is that it has the only temple of Brahmaji in India. So Lord Brahma is believed to have been born in Pushkar and that is where he, you know, settled, that is where he's lived his life. So the only temple um, of Brahmaji is in Pushkar. So we visited that. If you're heading to the pink city and are looking for some Instagram worthy spots, I'm pretty sure that Patrika Gate will be the number one spot on your list. It's pretty easy to see why, as it's a gorgeous rainbow walkway that looks like something out of a Maharaja's palace. They call the Raj Mandir a theatre with a heart. Grand is an understatement for this place. This theatre is located in the heart of city of Jaipur. the Albert Hall of Jaipur. Bar Palladio Jaipur is an ode to Italian style and cuisine, viewed through the prism of a Mughal dream world. Bar Palladio Jaipur is located within a daringly restored Garden Belvedere in the historic Narain Nivas Palace Hotel. City Palace was built by Savai Jaising in 1727. He is also known as the founder of the Jaipur city. City Palace in Jaipur was once the seat of kings as it was from here that they ruled the region. One of the best tourist spots in the city, the City Palace is a vast complex and includes several buildings, courtyards and gardens. Two of the main palaces in the complex are the Chandra Mahal and the Mubarak Mahal. The Chandra Mahal, Maharani Palace and the Baggi Khana have been converted into a museum. Mubarak Mahal is a museum dedicated to royal textiles. There are also four smaller gates in the courtyard which are believed to represent four seasons. The peacock or the moor gate represents the autumn season and there are 3D models of peacock at the gate giving it a magical view. The lotus gate was to symbolize the summer season while the leheria gate for the spring season. The rose gate is the winter gate. All these gates are decorated likewise and it is a sheer delight to look at these gates and entering it is an absolute bliss. 
the architecture is a fusion of Indian, Mughal, Rajput and even European style and you can see the grandeur of the fusion in every nook and corner of the palace. One of the famous items in the city palace are two silver jars which have found their place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest silver vessels in the world. The red and pink sandstone in which it is built adds a special beauty to the palace. No visit to Jaipur is complete without visiting the Jal Mahal. It was our final destination and with this we come to an end to our trip. Thank you and stay tuned. See you.